Long live the long roof. I'm with the Porsche Panamera GTS Sport Turismo body style. Yes, you can get the Panamera in a sedan form, but if given the choice, I will always take this. It looks so sleek and the angles are just right. You get added cargo space. And with the GTS, it's a four liter twin turbo V8 with almost 500 horsepower and almost 500 pound feet of torque. In this video, we're gonna talk about Porsche's performance here and how they've managed to fit it all in to the Panamera GTS Sport Turismo. Keep it agile and keep it feeling smaller on the road than it is in actuality, because well, it's a very long vehicle, it's a very heavy vehicle, but Porsche has found a balance between performance and practicality here. Welcome to your Porsche Panamera GTS Sport Turismo, and whether you call it a wagon, a station wagon, a shooting brake, an estate, there is no mistaking this sleek and beautiful body style. Unfortunately, it's not overly popular in North America as it is in Europe, but I really wish more North American drivers would pick up on this because it blends function and fashion, and it's just such a beautiful vehicle. And regarding the specific GTS trim for the Porsche Panamera Sport Turismo, it hits the sweet spot because, oh, look, at it just handles so nicely. You have all that power. Uh, speaking of power, let's run through the power figures. It's a four liter twin turbo V8, 473 horsepower, 457 pound feet of torque, and it is mated to Porsche's legendary PDK 8 speed automatic and just it handles so nicely and there's such a strong grip and you know it doesn't hurt to have the Pilot uh, Sport 4S tires on it but all of this power is available and it runs through an all-wheel drive system and yes there's different drive modes you can go through the four drive modes are normal sport sport plus and individual and even in its tamest form through the normal drive mode, it still packs such a powerful driving experience. And I'm in California and I found a canyon road and it's almost all twists and turns. And for the past couple of hours, I've just had such a delightful drive. The Panamera hasn't slipped at all. It changes gears so quickly and so precisely. And yes, you can change the gears yourself for the paddle shifters, or you can use the gear selector to go into manual mode. If you are a bit of an enthusiast, sure, play with the paddle shifters, but if you want lightning fast and accurate shifts, let the Porsche Panamera GTS do it all on its own. It is so specific where it shifts. There's hardly any rev hang here. Um, and even with that massive four liter, v8 engine it still has a lot of agility to it and i haven't found that it's lagged at all even on regular city streets or on the freeway slash highway depending on where you're watching this from the panamera gts just does it so well the paddle shifters are mounted to the steering wheel so they're always at your fingertips as opposed to being column mounted and yes you'll never shift as fast as a machine sometimes that's not the point I want to have the crispest shifts, so I will let the vehicle do the work itself because that's what it's designed, engineered, and wired to do. Sometimes, and I don't think I speak for only myself, you want to have that engagement. So you just go up shifting with your right hand, down shifting with your left, and again, you can also use the gear selector, pop it into manual mode, and do your gear shifts that way. I feel more comfortable unleashing the power here in the Panamera GTS through the paddle shifters. It keeps my hands on the wheel at all times. To change drive modes, there's a small wheel on the bottom right side of your steering wheel. So I've been in normal up until this point. I'm gonna flip it up to sport. What happens is your revs go up, the mapping of the engine is slightly adjusted, and the sport exhaust system kicks in automatically. So you have a little more oomph as far as audible go, and you get a little more responsiveness and performance out of the vehicle and you know i'm still sticking to the speed limit right the speed limit's 35 i'm not going above that at all and even at this speed 
the Panamera GTS just performs astoundingly well. And yes, there's a certain wow factor that Porsche has built in to all of their vehicles for that matter. But there's something extra special here with the Panamera because it's not the popular body style. If you want something small and sporty, you're gonna go 911. If you want something on the SUV side, you're gonna go for the Macan or you're gonna go for the Cayenne. And I find the Panamera, which is a strong vehicle on its own, doesn't get as much of the recognition as the ones I mentioned before. It certainly is the sweet spot in the lineup for me. If I was looking for a Porsche and I needed something that gave me extremely strong performance, terrific responsiveness, handles incredibly well. The GTS is that sweet spot for me that does everything exceptionally well. And the vehicle feels so planted and so well balanced, whether I'm doing straight lines, whether I'm on the freeway, or whether I'm on a canyon road like I am right now. It's so exciting to drive. And I'm not just saying that because it's a Porsche and Porsches are expected to be exciting to drive. Of course they are. They've pretty much written the book top to bottom on luxury performance. But what I find here, as far as the wow factor goes, is it's a longer body style. It's you know, shooting brake, a state wagon, station wagon, but it doesn't feel like a big car. It doesn't feel like a full-sized shooting brake is what I'm gonna stick with as far as the name goes. The rear doesn't swing out a lot at higher speeds and even on twists and turns, it's incredibly well planted. And yes, you can get optional rear axle steering and while I have no problems with it on its own coming out of the box as is, you can get rear axle steering to have a little more precision in how you take curves and turns, whether they be at high speeds or low speeds. The Panamera GTS does have staggered wheels. So 275, 40, 20 up front and around the rear, it's 315, 35 and 20. So you have the nice extra bit of width around the rear gives it not only a nice look, but it certainly helps the performance quite a bit. Since there's so much power here, Porsche does give you six piston ventilated brakes up front and four pistons out in the rear because, well, you gotta be able to stop a vehicle that's being able and capable of being propelled incredibly quickly with a lot of agility. The Gran Turismo body style blends the best of both. You get tons of cargo space, you get a beautiful sleek look, and you still have that exhilarating drive. And yes, the Panamera comes in the sport sedan form, but if given the choice, spend a little bit of extra money, go up to the Gran Turismo body style and enjoy the benefits of the extra cargo. Um, just a beautiful and rare look in North America. Now this, there's the Volvo V90, which shares the same body style. And by no means am I comparing the Volvo performance to what I have here with the Porsche Panamera GTS. But if body style is your thing, then there's at least two of them. But back to the Panamera GTS, it's got Porsche's traditional five gauge display. The only thing you need is what's in the middle, which tells you what speed you're going and what gear you're in and the specific drive mode. And yes, people have complained, well, I can't see the far left and I can't see the far right. I have it set up so that the clock is on the right side and the temperature is on the left. Things I don't really need and I don't really care about at all. With Porsche's Sport Chrono package, you go to your gear selector wheel and you push that button in and let's just take a listen. Gives you 20 seconds of absolute all power and it does everything that the engine can possibly throw at it. And oh, it just sounds so good. A little more than half of this video was shot with me going downhill. So to give you an even balance, I've turned myself around and now I'm going uphill into the mountains of California. And I gotta say the PDK performs equally well. I was expecting a little bit of hesitation, a little bit of the gears hanging on because you know, it's an uphill, it takes more power, it takes more torque, but I haven't noticed any kind of issues here. It's still just as responsive going uphill or downhill. Here's a nice big turn and I'm not moving. 
the supports here on the seats are just wonderful because it's such a long and low body style there's virtually no body roll at all and there have been some pretty steep twists and turns here and i'm not trying to roll the car by any means but you notice just how planted the porsche stays uh, low speeds medium speeds and even on the freeway uh, when i was getting out of the city and coming out here it felt so good and it really is the best of all worlds and there's no oversteer there's no understeer here here's another big turn it's so good it is just so good here there's no specific drawbacks here in the panamera gts you know exactly what you're getting into you know exactly what you want and you've got a pretty solid idea of what the car is capable of and yes porsche makes it so easy to customize your vehicles and it's not a drawback anymore it's just you have so many choices and it's hundreds upon hundreds of ways you can do it and what they've done here is they've taken the exterior color and part of a paid option is to have it embedded on the inside on the inside of the door panels and where that third screen could be uh, but isn't specced here porsche has two models that offer the gran turismo body style here in the panamera and recently in the fully ev Taycan, and i hope that it's received well by buyers again nothing wrong with the sedan look for both the panamera and the Taycan, but just to have that little bit of extra storage and such a gorgeous and elegant look to it while not taking away any of their performance again it's a four liter twin turbo v8 and i'm taking these turns with ease and 473 horsepower 457 pound feet of torque and that eight speed pdk is just magical and i'm sure it does extremely well on a day-to-day -day basis but given the day that i've had where it's been mountain and canyon driving and get a chance to show what this porsche panamera gts can do is just beyond wonderful the gts is the sweet spot in the lineup for porsche it rings so clearly here with the Panamera, specifically Sport Turismo, because again, it's the body style, it's the look, it's the feel, it's the handling, and here's yet another big curve, big turn that's taken with ease, no slipping, no sliding at all, uh, big, huge tires, staggered wheels, and the Michelin Pilot Sport 4S's are a nice out of touch and i think they're the best possible tire for this if you really want to maximize what this vehicle can do if you've got any questions on the porsche panamera gts sport turismo let us know in the comments we're happy to hear from you this is probably my favorite vehicle that's not an suv in the modern automotive world for driving.ca i'm jay canna for more news reviews and information you can use on performance and luxury vehicles Connect with us on our website at driving.ca and engage with us on our social media platforms.